bubbly, here we come. Let's get some fuel. Our harbour book said, if you're coming to Last of All, you might like the Porto Rosso stop best. And I agree, it was great. You could go for a swim, a dinghy ride. The restaurant is top quality. Easier to park a dinghy than park a yacht, that's for sure. <laughs> morning guys we are currently on Lastovo island in croatia and plan for today was to sail either to kokula to the east side of kokula the actual town or to go even further south further east south to midlet however we found out that we are kind of running low on fuel our fuel gauge wasn't working properly we knew we were using fuel, but it kept saying it was full, so we couldn't really check properly how much fuel we've got left. And turns out we don't have that much fuel left anymore. And this bay doesn't have any fuel. They were supposed to have fuel stations here according to our harbour book, but then we asked the guy who works at the uh, restaurant and they said that they didn't. So we can't really go to Coca-Cola or Midgelet before we refuel because it's quite a long way away and in case there's no wind and we have to motor it's a bit risky running low on fuel you know because it's unpredictable like we either will get fine wind and we'll be able to sail and there will be no problems whatsoever or we might get no wind and then we'll have to motor so yeah we'll have to stay in last of all for another day and find a fuel station I think there should be one at the other side in a place called Ugly. That's what the guy at the restaurant called, said. He said there's a place in Ugly where there's a fuel station, so we'll have to go there. And yeah, I think we are just going to stay here. We might stay at a different bay though. The actual last of all town is on the northern side, so we might go there or get a taxi. The problem is we are kind of running out of drinking water and there are no supermarkets here. This place, I didn't tell you last night because we didn't know how much this stop was, but this stop is actually the cheapest that we've been to so far. We only paid 100 and something kunas, 170 or 150 kunas, I can't exactly remember, but it's by far the cheapest place that we've been to so far. The other place on Last of All Island that we stopped the night before was 500 kunas. So we are kind of happy to stay here one more night. We are either staying here or maybe going to Last of All Town at the northern side and hope that's not going to be too expensive. And we also need to, I'm sorry about the noise, there's like a fishing boat behind me. We have to also fill up our water tank. One of our water tanks, the front water tank, is nearly empty. It's on like 15% now, so we need to fill that up. For the time being, we switched to the back tank, back water tank, but we want to have two of the tanks full if possible. And we have water here, so it's easily done. So we can do that. And yeah, I really fancy going for a swim at the beach down that end. Wait, let me show you. I really want to go for a swim down there. I'm wearing my bikini already because I kind of want to go for a swim and a little paddle on the dinghy. So I might be able to do that as well. But yeah, so that's basically the plan for today. I'll update you as we go along because we never actually fully plan our days. We just kind of go with the flow. up water got pipe ready onto the drain let's get the other side let's go oh, it's a bit tangled wait 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 do it <clears throat> perfect let me get the keys though got my keys and a little tool let's open it up Get the pipe in. Right, all is in. And now we are literally just waiting for the tank to fill up. When it's overflowing, that means it's full. Stay 
sink in a while. You'd actually be surprised how much water goes inside. It takes a lot of water, but then thinking about the showers, washing your hair, doing the dishes, it all takes up water. I'm just waiting for it now to finish. When it's overflowing, we know it's done. Five hours later and we are done. Time to put the pipe away. The beach. Oh, it feels cold. The water here is so clear, you guys. You can literally see fish. You can literally see fish everywhere from here, it's so amazing. It's mostly like tiny fish or like about this size. I just went in for the swim, but it's so cold right now wet. I need to change. I think we are gonna go on a dinghy now, but I'm gonna change very quickly because if it's fine once you're in the water, it feels amazing, so refreshing. Morning swim is the way to live life, but right now I'm just like all soaking wet and it's a bit chilly because it's about 19 degrees right now, which for me is not that much. So yeah, I'm gonna go get changed and then we'll do some dinghy paddling. We just got our dinghy down. So we can paddle. I don't think we're gonna bother with the engine for the dinghy because this thing is quite heavy. But we have paddles, so I'm just going to put these paddles together. The dinghy was right there and we just got it off and it's now in the water. It's a lot heavier than it looks, guys. So heavy. Right, so my dad is already in the dinghy. Yeah. And we are off! Way. Bye bye Tonka! See you in a few months! <laughs> right, now we can go to Italy! You can come all the way there! Park a dinghy than park a yacht, that's for sure. <laughs> One second, let me turn first, and then we will go. What are you doing? Alright. Can't play it on otherwise the race is at the front. Right, so now we are off to get some fuel. Probably here we come. Let's get some fuel. Our harbour book said if you're coming to Last of All, you might like the Porto Rosso stop, the Porto Rosso restaurant stop best. And I agree, it was great. You can go for a swim, a dinghy ride, the restaurant is top quality and just very chill and relaxed and it's amazingly sheltered. We didn't get any winds. In fact, I thought the wind was basically non existent today because it was that sheltered, but now we are heading more towards an open sea we can actually feel the wind a lot more but yeah highly recommend that stop find out why we fail to get diesel in Ubli tomorrow and what we decide to do we'll also discover the first free mooring stop in Croatia make friends with an adorable dog and have a long walk to the stunning last of all town subscribe and stay tuned <laughs>